Hey guys, so despite that I didn't attempt to image uh, any more winter targets, at least uh, until next season, uh, for tonight I chose to image the Orion Nebula and that's mainly because I already have uh, quite a lot of data. I just uh, never came around to do an actual video on it. And yeah, I'll also talk a bit about uh, my guiding settings using the Scabotch GTL mount and the AC Air. So with that said, let's just uh, jump into the video. <laughs> Okay, so I figured that the best way to do this is if I just make a screen record uh, while I set everything up. Uh, that way you may see something that's uh, in interest to you. So uh, yeah, let me power up uh, the mount and I'll start a screen record. And I'll put it in uh, one of the corners of the video. Now let me just quickly mention at this point that I always make sure that uh, my telescope and the mount are really well leveled. And I know this might be obvious, but uh, sometimes we don't pay attention to the most uh, obvious things. I know I'm guilty of it uh, myself. But yeah, let me connect the mount to the SynScan app. Talking about the most obvious things. Okay, now at this point, uh, as soon as I make the connection between the mount and the SynScan app, I always power up the AC Air unit. That way, by the time I'm finished with the Wi-Fi settings in the SynScan app, uh, the AC Air already has uh, an active uh, hotspot running. Now let's go into settings. Okay, now I'll just quickly check if I'm focused enough to make the polar alignment. Okay, that's good enough. So let's start the polar alignment. Yeah, should a little bit like this. I think that's good enough. So let's hit finish. Now I'm going to set the focus.
Okay, the focusing is done. Now let's go to our target. Okay, now the main thing that you're probably waiting for. So first let me just check if uh, I can see some stars in the guiding camera. Or do I have to refocus it? And I think I do because I can't see any stars. So yeah, let's do the focusing. Okay, I can see some stars now. Let's go to the guiding settings. Now let me also show you my dithering settings. Okay, and before my hands really freeze up, I will just quickly show you my sequence. So, let me clear that up. So first, I will take one one second exposure. Then I will take one five second exposure. One ten second, one thirty, one sixty second exposure, and then I'll bump it up to three hundred seconds, and I'll set this to thirty. And yeah, if everything goes smoothly, we should have some new data to work with. I will just turn off the light and start my sequence. Okay, so I wasn't sure if I'll be able to add any more uh, H-alpha to my existing data uh, and that's mainly because of the weather forecast but uh, luckily we got blessed with uh, another clear night and I made sure that I was set up so as soon as it got uh, really dark I, I could immediately start to image. Now I'm just waiting for my first uh, exposure to come in uh, and I didn't set up uh, any particular uh, sequence like I did with my color because I really don't need to focus on the core of the Orion Nebula uh, with the H-alpha filter since uh, I'll have uh, more than enough to work with uh, with uh, my color data. Tonight I might get uh, only four to five additional HA exposures, which is not a lot, but uh, I think uh, it will make uh, a difference adding those few extra frames. And yeah, if you have any questions about guiding, please uh, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll see you again next time. Take care guys, bye.